Unraveling the Meaning of Snake Room. Hello everyone and welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're going to explore a rather intriguing phrase, snake room. It's not a term you hear every day, but it's one that can certainly pique your curiosity. So, if you're ready, let's shed some skin on this expression and see what lies beneath. When we hear the word, snake, it usually brings to mind the legless, slithering reptile. However, in English, animals are often used metaphorically to give personality to phrases. The phrase, snake room, could have a literal meaning, a room where snakes are kept. Zoos, pet stores, or even homes of exotic pet lovers might have a literal snake room. But figuratively, a snake room might imply a place or situation that is filled with treachery, deceit, or danger much like being in a room full of literal snakes would be. The use of the word snake to denote sneakiness or betrayal is common in English, stemming from cultural and biblical associations of snakes with trickery. Understanding the meaning of snake room heavily depends on context. If you hear it in a conversation, look for clues. Who is saying it? A herpetologist or a disgruntled employee? Where is it said? At a wildlife sanctuary or in an office? What's the tone? Fascinated and enthusiastic? Or wary and critical? The context can flip the meaning entirely. For example, I spent the whole day in the snake room at the zoo. It was amazing. After the meeting, I felt like I'd been in a real snake room, with all the backstabbing going on. It's important to note that snake room isn't a common idiom or phrase with a fixed meaning. It's more of a creative expression, which can be influenced by cultural interpretations. In some cultures, snakes are seen as wise and protective, while in others, they're viewed as symbols of evil. This perception will color the interpretation of the phrase. If you decide to use this phrase, Think about the imagery you're trying to convey. Is it to express admiration for someone's collection of reptiles or to subtly hint at a distrustful environment? Remember, the power of such an evocative term lies in its vivid imagery and the emotions it stirs in the listener. I hope this exploration of the phrase, snake room, has been as fascinating for you as it has been for me. Whether you find yourself speaking about an actual room of reptiles or using the term to colorfully describe a less than pleasant situation, remember that the beauty of English lies in its versatility and rich figurative language. Until next time, keep learning and keep curious.